One of the most common questions we get from people who are relocating to Kelowna is what are the most walkable neighborhoods in Kelowna? Now there are four or five neighborhoods that do offer that lifestyle where you can walk to a restaurant, get your groceries, grab a coffee and get to know your neighbors. And watch till the end of this video where I can show you the most walkable address in Kelowna. I'm gonna need a coffee. Okay, so let's define walkability. I think most people would define it as being able to live, work, and play in close proximity to their home. Now we don't have a lot of neighborhoods like this, but we do have some communities like this one that do. We are in Pandozi Village, which is located in the neighborhood of Kelowna South and is bordered by the Lower Mission and Lake Okanagan. This area is known for prominent lakefront homes, condos, townhouses, beaches, and tons of incredible shopping. Pandozi Village is an extremely central location and also flat compared to many other areas of the city. This gives it a huge advantage when it comes to exploring the streets by foot. The streets are lined with towering trees, spacious sidewalks and bike lanes, and the beautiful Abbott Corridor. This area is home to a variety of boutique shops, from clothing to books and antiques. Pandozi Village offers an array of restaurants, coffee shops, medical offices, and grocery store options. In the past few years, this quaint community has seen a large influx of townhouse and condo developments. It is such a special area to spend the day exploring and you'll see so many residents enjoying all their neighborhood offers. On the north end of the city, you'll find the downtown. This is in the neighborhood of Kelowna North, and this area puts you in the center of it all. It's bordered by Knox Mountain Park and Lake Okanagan and has all the amenities you could need. This area is nestled within the city's brewery and cultural district and offers shopping, dining, and nightlife. Downtown is highly pedestrian friendly. There are sidewalks and bike lanes along every street and no matter where you're standing, you are guaranteed to be a short walk away from a local restaurant, coffee shop, boutique shopping, and entertainment. My favorite way to enjoy this area is during the summer months when they shut down traffic on Bernard Avenue and make it completely pedestrian friendly with larger patios, vendors, games, and ways for people to be out taking in the lifestyle the downtown core offers. Next up on our list is the area of Springfield and Spall. This is one of the major core areas in Kelowna and offers the majority of Kelowna's shopping and big box stores. Orchard Park Shopping Centre is located here and is surrounded by restaurants, local businesses, hotels and more. The Springfield area was one of the first to be established in Kelowna, so homes vary from older single-family properties to townhouses, apartments and duplexes. This area is home to many 55 plus age restricted condos and also many different rental options as well. The Landmark District is in the heart of this neighborhood and is a fantastic place to explore, to grab a cup of coffee and incredible dining options. Both Springfield and Spall Road are two major routes in Kelowna, so bike lanes and sidewalks are available. This area is also where you'll find Kelowna's Outdoor Farmers Market as it runs outdoors from April through October. Our final stop today is the neighborhood of Rutland, located northeast of the downtown core and is Kelowna's largest neighborhood. Now Rutland used to be its own municipality until it amalgamated with the city of Kelowna in 1973. This community is one that offers some of Kelowna's most affordable homes, ranging from condos, townhouses, duplex, multifamily homes, and detached houses. Rutland offers some of Kelowna's top rated parks and playgrounds, as well as Kelowna's family YMCA. Rutland is home to over two dozen parks and a top runner is Ben Lee Park. It spans over eight hectares and includes an accessible park, splash park, sports court, skate park, and ample green spaces to enjoy a stroll or a summer picnic. Over the years, Rutland has become one of the most densely populated areas in Kelowna and has a thriving business center bursting with all your necessities. Rutland is also home to some of Kelowna's most delicious and diverse restaurants. Rutland is one of the highest ranked when it comes to walkability, 
but in addition to that, it also has great transit options. So what is Kelowna's most walkable address? Well, based on our criteria, that rings in with Brooklyn. With a walkability score of 98, this condo complex offers you everything at your fingertips. And so we don't really have a true walkable neighborhood here in Kelowna in comparison to living in some other big centers like Toronto or Vancouver. However, we do have some great options that we've shown you here today. And so if you're looking to buy or sell a home in the Kelowna area, or maybe you wanna know a little bit more about the communities we've looked at today, please reach out. You can find me online at kelownahomes.com or my contact information is listed below. See ya in the next video.